Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. If you watched my video a couple of months ago, I shared with you that I had been experiencing some anxiety at work and that I was gonna do something about it, so I had taken some time off of work. In doing that, I have Kaiser Insurance, and through Kaiser, they have an amazing team of people that can help teach you skills to apply to your life to help you better handle anxiety. I have been in this class. It is a life skills class for one week now, and it's amazing. I am learning some amazing things about setting boundaries and helping me maintain my happiness and keep the anxiety out as much as possible. So I thought I would do a video to share some of the things that I have learned with you because some of them are actually very interesting and things that I never actually would have even thought of on my own and I'm so thankful for this class, so let's get started. So one of the things that I've learned is that I have control over three things. My thoughts, my feelings, and my behavior. And those are the things that I have to make sure that I maintain in order to stay healthy and to not harm anyone else with my words. When it comes to creating boundaries, you need to think, what do I need to do to remain safe, sane, and relational? So those are the three things that you always wanna take into consideration. These are some of the things that boundaries do. Boundaries create safety, they create trust, they define what's mine and what's yours, they define your moral compass, they determine the responsibility for your behavior, they create borders, they protect others from me, they protect me from others, and they help you know the truth about your own worth. So let's get started talking about some boundaries. Something that was discussed in my class is that 20% of people in the world are not going to like you and you just need to be able to accept that and live with it and know how to react properly. It's just how it is. Sometimes they're not gonna like you because you have blue eyes or brown eyes. Maybe because your hair is blonde, straight, curly, brown. There aren't always even real reasons. Some people aren't gonna like you because you're too nice to other people. People have very, very strange reasons, but there are always going to be people in your life and in your surroundings that aren't going to like you. So you have to know how to deal with those people and how to keep yourself safe, sane, and relational when those people enter your life. One of the things that my group leader talked about, and I thought this was very entertaining and very funny, is that there are people out there in the world that she just calls piss monsters. And all they wanna do is cause you problem and sling stinky poop into your yard so that you have to deal with that because they just wanna hurt you. They don't have any reason, they don't even always know you, but you have to know how to react to that. So the first thing we're gonna talk about are restraining boundaries. And the first one is to dump it. So if a piss monster who is someone that doesn't even know you, doesn't know anything about you, starts slinging stinky poop into your yard, and it's not even true. They are saying things about you that aren't even true. They're talking about you and they're saying that, oh my gosh, that girl over there, she is so mean. I heard that she called that girl over in the other office a horrible name and she was talking bad about her. And this may be something that isn't even true that you've never even done, but this piss monster just wants to cause problems. What you have to do with that though is dump it. Do not take it in. Don't let it upset you. Don't think to yourself, oh, I am a mean person. I am horrible. Do not rub that stinky poo all over you. Get rid of it. Dump it. Because this person is just out to cause problems. They are not trying to help you. They are not trying to give you some criticism that will help you learn and grow. They're just being troublemakers. So the first thing is to know when you need to dump it. The second thing is to know when you need to porch it. So when you have a house and you've created your yard and your boundaries, if someone comes to you to discuss a character defect about yourself, you then need to take it in, decide if it's true, and put it on your porch if it's true so that you can learn how to help yourself deal with that and become a better person in the end. You don't need to keep it in your house where you're constantly having to deal with it and constantly having to look at it and constantly have to worry about it. 
but put it on your porch so that it's something that's still there until you are able to figure out a way to deal with it and help yourself learn how to fix this character defect because sometimes things that people say about you are in fact true and you need to take it in and figure out how you can become a better person from it. The third thing is saying thank you. Some people are just there to give you a compliment and a lot of us have a very hard time accepting a compliment. Someone will come up to you and say, wow, I really love the way you did your hair today. And that makes some people say, oh, well does that mean that she doesn't like the way I do my hair other days? Does that mean that whatever I did today looks good but normally I don't look good? No, that just means that someone is simply trying to give you a compliment. Simply say thank you. Accept the compliment and feel good about yourself and know that they are trying to tell you that they've noticed something nice about you today. It doesn't necessarily mean that you don't look good any other day, but something extraordinary about you today is standing out and they want to compliment you on it. So just say thank you. And the fourth thing is to clarify. If someone is telling you something, talking bad about you, giving you information about yourself that it doesn't make any sense, you don't really know, you're not really sure whether it's true because you don't have all the facts, get all of the facts before you determine what kind of boundary you need to set up and how to deal with it. That is something that will help you then learn how to use the next set of boundaries. These are called containing boundaries and the acronym is THINK and let me tell you what THINK stands for. Before you talk and before you react, think about if what you are going to say is timely and truthful. Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary and is it kind? If all of those don't factor in, don't say it. Take a moment and figure out how to react in a way that all of those items apply. You wanna make sure that what you're saying is truthful. You wanna make sure it's helpful, that it's actually going to do something to help the person that you are communicating with. You also wanna make sure that it's inspiring, that it's necessary, and that it's kind. We always wanna say kind things, even if the people that are directing their anger or directing their criticism toward us isn't kind, it doesn't mean that we have to react the same way. We are trying to better ourselves and we're trying to become more positive, healthy people. When it comes to the piss monsters in your life, whether they're there on a regular basis or whether it's someone that just pops in every once in a while, do not give them the power to upset you or to cause you problems. You have to be able to identify them and know how to handle it. Know how to protect yourself and keep yourself safe, sane, and relational. These are the things that I learned this week and they were actually amazingly helpful. Over time, I really think I'm gonna be able to learn to apply them to my daily life and help me be able to communicate with people and relate with people on a more positive level. It will also help me um, learn how to understand myself. And when someone is slinging that stinky poo my way, I'm gonna know how to react and I'm gonna know how to respond in a proper way if a response is even necessary because I am not going to let the piss monsters in my life have control over me any longer. I hope this information was helpful to you. I did want to let you know that the class I'm taking, it's a life skills class and it's given by Kaiser. So if you have Kaiser insurance, check in the area that you live in and see if they happen to have this class because it's amazing. It's a six week class. You go three days a week, but they provide you with really, really great information life skills that's the name of the class and they want to help you be a better person so i highly recommend it this has been my first week in the class of course there's been a whole lot more talked about but that is what i have at least learned as far as boundaries are concerned i know i'm going to learn a whole lot more in the next coming weeks and anything that i find to be exceptionally helpful i'll make sure to share with you i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. 